Hello guys, I hope you all are doing well and, in this video, we will first understand the terms continuous and discontinuous function. Then we will understand continuity at a point. Let's start. When we drive a car, we notice that the graph of speed and time is constantly going up and down. The graph will be perfectly smooth, which means it will be continuous. When a car is parked in a parking lot, where the rate is quoted as $2 per hour, the parking charges remain at $2 for the first hour and then suddenly increase to $4 once the first hour has passed. At each hour, the function relating parking charges to parking time will be referred to as discontinuous. Look at this function. How would I have drawn this? Assume that this yellow dot represents the tip of my pen. We will not focus on endpoints at this time. We'll take them into account in the next video, okay? Pay attention to this dot now. You can see that I didn't lift this pen even once while drawing it. In other words, if you draw a curve without lifting your pen, it will be a continuous curve. This is referred to as a continuous function. Take a look at this function now. I'm assuming here that you're familiar with solid dot and hollow dot in graphs. If you're not, I'll provide a video link to the in the description box. Observe the pen's tip once again. Because of the hollow dot, we had to lift the pen as we got closer to it. Now we'll move the pen tip to this solid dot. Again, we must lift the pen and position it on the right side of the hollow dot. Then we'll draw the rest of the curve. That is, if we lift the tip of the pen while drawing a function, the curve will break into two or more sections. A function of this type is known as a discontinuous function. At any given point, which function is continuous? And which is discontinuous? So we must first understand what it means to be continuous at a point. Let's understand that. When we draw the graph of this, we don't want to lift the pen as we pass through the point, A, comma L on the graph. It doesn't matter if we have to lift our pen elsewhere. As long as we don't lift it up near point A, comma L. This means that we want a stream of points which get closer and closer, arbitrarily close, in fact, to the point A, comma L. In other words, as X approaches A, we need F of X approach F of A. In other words, for a function to be continuous at a given point, its value should be equal to the function's limit at that point. As we can see in this graph at x equals a, its value is equal to function's limit at this point. So this function is continuous at point x equals a. But in this case, the value of the function at the point x equals b is m. However, as we get closer to this point, the function will approach the end value. This means that the function's limit at this point is n. So, at this point, the value of function and the limit of function are different. We can deduce from this that the function is discontinuous at x equals b. So these are the conditions for continuity and discontinuity at a point. Other conditions for discontinuity at a point exist as well. Let's take a look at them as well. Consider the first example. This function's left and right limits are different. As a result, we can conclude that the limit of this function does not exist at x equals a. If the limit does not exist at all, the question of continuity does not arise. As a result, this is yet another condition of discontinuity at the point. Consider the second example. The left and right limits are equal in this case. However, no function value is defined at x equals a. As a result, this is yet another condition of discontinuity at a point. Consider the third example. At this point, the left and right limits are equal, indicating that the function's limit exists. The function's value, on the other hand, is also defined. However, they are not the same. As a result, there is a discontinuity at this point. We now have all the conditions for discontinuity at a point.
That's all for today's video. Please like and share it. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Thank you.